Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma for those of you who are new and would love it if you guys subscribed and stuck around. But for those of you who aren't new, hi, I missed you. I'm so excited to be filming again. It has been the craziest last like, month and a half of my life. So I don't even remember the last time I posted 
and I don't really think I've given you guys an update really anywhere unless you follow me over on Instagram. But if you've been around for a while, you can tell I'm in a new location. I'm currently in the bathroom of my new apartment. So I quit my job in Manhattan where I'm from and I moved to Kansas City and yeah, that's pretty much it. The title of this video is I quit my job and moved to a city or move to a new city all alone. At least I think that's what I'm gonna title it and just give you guys like a little life update here. I moved with my boyfriend. When I say all alone, I mean without any friends or family or anything like that, but my boyfriend and I are still together and it all happened within the span of like a week and a half. Honestly, it was crazy. From the time we toured the apartment, applied and all that, like it was crazy. And I moved here without a job. So I was out of a job for like two-ish weeks, two and a half weeks, and I started my new job last week which i'll kind of update you guys on so lots of life updates to share with you guys but i'm so excited for this new chapter and the content here is going to go crazy because there's so many bookstores and fun things to do in the city so i'm so excited to take you guys along and vlog and all that fun stuff but before we get into the rest of the vlog i just wanted to say a huge thank you to Anna louisa for working with me in today's video you guys already know if you've been around for a while that i always talk about Anna louisa and i'm always wearing some sort of jewelry stack or jewelry combo from them if you are unfamiliar with Anna louisa they are a jewelry company based out of new york that specializes in high quality sustainable and affordable jewelry pieces i have so many fun pieces from them like to the point where i'm contemplating getting like a double or I already have my double, a triple piercing on my ear so I can wear more of the earrings and rotate them out. I'm wearing two new pieces from them. I'll insert a close up here, but I'm wearing like a mini version in both of my holes, my first and my second of earrings that I already wear. So I think these are the rocks hoops and these are the mini ones. I have them in the small and the medium as well and I wear them all the time. They're probably my favorite, just everyday timeless jewelry piece. And now that I have all the different sizes, I think it'd be cute to get a third piercing to have the big one, small one, and the mini one. And then I also have, I think these are the Suzanne Huggies, and I have the small ones already, but I got the mini ones as well. And then this is my everyday necklace. I've worn this for almost like two years now. All of these pieces also make a great gift, which is really exciting because especially with Mother's Day coming up and all that sort of thing, like there is amazing pieces on there to gift to your family, your friends, anything like that. Anyone special in your life, you can gift on Louisa pieces and know that they will wear them for years and years and years to come. And I think that's just so special. I've given my little sister on Louisa pieces and my mom on Louisa pieces for when my brother got married last year. And she still wears them and looks beautiful in them. She probably won't let me insert a picture or video of anything of her wearing them, but stunning and we have like matching earrings and necklaces too so if you're looking for some fun new jewelry pieces something to spice up your collection or gift to other people definitely check out on louisa i will have them linked down below in the description box if you click on that link you can shop with my code and yeah check out all of the pieces that they have thank you on louisa for working with me in yet another video you guys know i love you guys but let's go show you a little mini apartment tour oh also before i go this ring i totally forgot to show you that guys this ring my new favorite jewelry piece i've gotten so many compliments on it it's like a little mood ring and i know that like mood rings like it's not really like a mood ring but this one is so fun and i have no jewelry pieces like it it's like a little color changing color changing ring on like a gold band but they have it for the silver girlies too i cannot believe i forgot this it was literally sitting on the counter and i've worn it every day since i got it so Super cute, but let's go ahead and get into the rest of the video. Okay, since I'm already in the bathroom, I can just go ahead and start in here, but I love this bathroom. So in Manhattan, in the first apartment that Sid and I lived in together, we had a two bed, two bath, but then the rent just got way too expensive for Manhattan. Like if you know, Manhattan is like this tiny college town and for rent to be like just as expensive there as it is in a big city, it just didn't make sense. And then we moved into just kind of like an apartment that was sort of like temporary until Sid graduated school just to save like a little bit of money. And then this apartment is so nice. It's beautiful. It's in a great area. It's not too far of a drive from any of the major things that you want to do in the city or from my place of work, which is really nice. But we did have to downsize. We got a one bed, one bath, but honestly, it's very spacious. Like everything fits and has a place except for in like the storage closets. Like those are kind of jam packed, but we have this beautiful mirror here. It like lights up and then the cabinets are kind of like a dark gray pulling kind of blue 
countertops are stunning, that sort of thing. My mom and dad, mainly mom, helped like organize everything with like a bunch of Target organizers and stuff and just everything has a place, which is so nice. And then all of these drawers, this side is mine. This is like everyday skincare, toothpaste, stuff like that. Toilet, which is essential. This closet is a little bit random. It's just like extra cleaning supplies and stuff like that. So the water heater is on this side, but it's nice that that's kind of like a storage area. I love our shower. We definitely need to get a squeegee, but we don't have many shower products, so everything kind of fit in there and it looks really nice. We're gonna get some new bath mats as well, just cause these ones are kind of ugly. And then I've been loving doing laundry because we have like a nice little washer dryer situation. So that's the bathroom. We have a door from the living area that comes in here and then also goes out to the bedroom. So I'll kind of go show you everything else. Sid and I just did like a deep clean and kind of like put together our new couch today because that was delivered. So he's gonna hop in and take a shower like I just did because we were like sweating because it's so humid. But let me go show you the rest of the apartment while he gets ready. So here it is just at the front door. Obviously it's a lot smaller than any of the apartments that we've had before, but I love it so much. And honestly having a small apartment like it's worth it in a bigger city and Sid and I don't have like that much stuff. My mom would say that we're lying, but this is the kitchen. I kind of already showed you cause I did some montage like cleaning clips in here, but I love the kitchen seriously so much. I love that there's an island and we still have our old bar stools here. I love the big, I think this is called like a farmhouse sink. I love the black like fixtures and then I love our appliances like the fridge is so cool. I've never had like an ice machine or a water dispenser in a fridge before, so very exciting. The fridge itself is kind of tiny and not organized. We're really filled right now. We need groceries, but love it. Also, if you know me, you know the fact that I have a Trader Joe's near us now. Oh my gosh. Very, very exciting. So definitely love the fridge and then my mom helped organize the pantry we still need to take all of, like the stickers and stuff off the acrylic organizers but this is just so fun like there's so much room and obviously like we still have a bunch of space to put more stuff and we need to stock up on uh, snacks and stuff because we have a costco membership now which is also so cool but anyways <laughs> there's just so much cabinet space and my mom did a great job she did amazing helping organize we have like a little coffee corner over here which is really cute and then we have like ample space for all of our stuff so if we wanted to get more dishes for any reason or anything like that like we have a bunch of space and i just absolutely love the kitchen i think it's so cute and just minimal and we have like room down here as well for all of our Oh, that's not the right cabinet but like our air fryers and here and like our appliances and stuff like we have room for everything so really really nice but then you turn this way and like i said not a lot to show just because it is small but we have a storage closet there and then we have the old entryway table here as well definitely want to style this some more it looks kind of funny right now just because i threw things that used to be on here on here but it needs like a bigger candle maybe a bigger lamp or something and then just some like books or something on here to style it up but then we turn over here and are you kidding me my dad and boyfriend built these mainly my dad and mounted them to the wall but i have <laughs> these bookshelves now and they're not organized at all right now i'm filming a whole video on that for you guys but i am so excited to make these beautiful and just just stunning and have this be like my filming background for you guys come on like you've got to be kidding me these are gorgeous so i'm so excited to organize these and make them pretty and stuff like that and just fill them up and i'm gonna film like all of my sit down book videos in here probably this apartment is so cute and the bookshelves just make it that much better obviously and my new job which i haven't talked about yet and i don't know if i'm gonna say exactly where i'm working but I get a discount on books, which is really, really exciting. And I have a huge book haul coming for you guys, like a ginormous book haul. So stay tuned for that because I bought a lot of books and done a lot of damage. And I also had some books that I had hauled before 
we moved and everything that I still haven't showed you. So but yeah, that's like my favorite thing of the apartment, especially when they're all decorated and stuff. Like it's going to be amazing. So I think I'm going to do that in the next couple of days and film that video for you guys. The living room is not done at all. So we just got this couch today. They delivered it today and then we had to bring it upstairs and all that because we weren't going to pay for in-home delivery. But it's like a reclining sofa from Nebraska Furniture Mart and it looks beige on camera, but it's actually like a light heather gray and it's really soft but we just wanted something small for this apartment we thought like a sectional would be too big we might upgrade if we move to a bigger apartment or something for now this couch is going to work because we don't need to take up space with the sectional and we both can have a sectional because it reclines for now like we haven't actually used it yet but it's pretty nice and we're gonna get a new rug because this like beige jute one doesn't really match it so hoping to find like a soft plush rug that has maybe some like dark gray, white, light gray, and maybe some like bluish accents as well because these cabinets do pull like a pretty blue color. I don't know if you can tell on camera. So definitely not going to keep this rug, but we might also just get like a light gray jute rug because we do like the jute rug, but it just doesn't look good with the gray couch. This is not staying here. I'm trying to sell this bookshelf. So if you live in like the Kansas City area, let me know. I'd sell it to you for like a good price, but we're going to get a TV stand here instead. I just don't need any more bookshelves at least right now if we move into a bigger apartment like a whole room it's just going to be filled with books i'll get more bookshelves but for now like that should be enough space because i also have my tbr cart so we're going to get like a tv stand and i want one that has like maybe some doors with like glass or something like that but then i can also put books in there so we need to get a tv for out here since so PlayStation will be out here and then don't know what I'm doing with those yet. Then our desk setup is right here, which I really like actually because the desk used to be like in the room and stuff like that. So excited to have this space and we need to hang that and we're gonna hang a mirror in the entryway, like the round circle mirror and then the lamp and then another one of Prince's beds. So that's kind of the living room. The living room is the space that's the most like work in progress. But then we have our bedroom, which is pretty much the same setup as all of our other bedrooms have been. So we still have the same bed frame, the same bedding, but we're going to get some darker bedding just because we do have a little dog that sheds black hair. He's asleep right now. So we just want something that won't show his hair as much. We have the same nightstands, the same lamps. I have some more books right there. Don't know if this mirror is going to stay here. And then I kind of want to get like, I'm either going to put my TBR cart here or put like a basket with like blankets and stuff and I need to hide those cords. And then we got this dresser from Ikea. It's actually two of the three drawer dressers because the six drawer one was out of stock. But this is honestly better quality than the six drawer one anyway. So we just got like a black color to kind of match the black-ish theme <laughs> going on out there. The TV is in here right now. And then that Sid side. Hello, Prince. Hello little baby and he's been such a good boy and adjusting so well here i think he was meant to be a city boy but anyways and then just the closet so we just have the one closet and it's not like the most organized thing in the world but it works so we have another like dresser in here and then some shoes up top my stuff is hanging on the top sid stuff is hanging on the bottom and then just some like random stuff here but that is pretty much it, so. We just got back from running some errands, aka going to Target in the mall. <laughs> and Sid is going to run back to Target because they're doing like a huge TV sale or something. What is that? Prince is going to have his bone and then I'm going to give you guys a little, a little Target haul. So, okay. It is 514 and we just got back from Target. So I'm going to give you guys a little Target haul of stuff that we got. So Sid got a couple of frozen pizzas, which that's not that exciting. I got a, a little water bottle because I just needed a water bottle for my new job because having my Stanley and having it be around like books and paperwork and technology and stuff 
not the best option so i just needed one that had like a closing lid and so it wouldn't like spill or anything so i need to throw that in the wash and then i just needed a couple like just black shirts so i got like this black v-neck and it's like double lined and i really like it and then i just got like a black kind of like just scoop neck or high neck muscle tee which i really like just basic to wear with jeans cargos trousers and stuff for work so and then the fun stuff we got some sweets so well i got some sweets i'm almost about to start my period so i just was craving something sweet and i've been seeing the candy salad trend all over tiktok but they've got some topsies popcorn and then i got some gushers at target too but i got some stuff to make a candy salad so you don't really know what the best options are let me know what your favorite like candy salad combos are but i got just the haribo twin snakes these are like my second favorite haribos my first are ones i forget what they're called but i got them in london and they're so good then i got some airhead extreme bites some nerd gummy clusters of course with the blue ones some Harbo sour streamers, and then just some Sour Patch Kids watermelon. So I'm going to put this all in a container right now, but I also wanted to show you guys a couple other things that we got. So I have actually always had these two books here. So these are the Magnolia table books, like the Hearth and Hand ones by Joanna Gaines or whatever. So I have the volume one, volume two, and then my mom just gave me the volume three, which I'm super excited about. So those are all right here. And then Sid actually bought us some cookbooks the other day at Barnes and Noble. So let me show you guys. These were in their like clearance section. So we got an air fryer one, 275 plus quick and easy recipes. I'm so excited. We're trying to cook more at home and our air fryer is like our favorite thing. So I'm super excited about this one. And then we got this one called Delish. Eat like every day is the weekend. And it just has like crazy yummy looking recipes in here. And then we got this one called Bare Minimum Dinners, which also looks like a bit more like healthier options and stuff, which I'm super excited about. That one looks so cute in the corner over here. So I have the air fryer one right here and then because the delish one is like yellow on the side it's not very aesthetically pleasing i just put it in like this so you can go in with the other one and then the bare minimum dinner is also very aesthetically pleasing so they just look like this so we have all of our cookbooks and i'm gonna share recipes and like vlogs and stuff when we make stuff and they're good so i'm gonna make my candy salad sid just went to target again because the one that we just went to which is like my favorite target and it's closest to us they didn't have the tv that he wants for the living room in stock so i'm just gonna stay home i'm gonna make my candy salad and then i'm gonna plan my week and then i have to get to editing this video so that's gonna be it, but let's make this candy salad. I just have this little container. I think my mom got this at Target, like in a set. And I'm just going to make my little candy salad. But a taste test as we go. So these are the Airhead Extreme Bites. Yum. Sour ones. These look so good. Oh my gosh, these look so good. Are you kidding me? These are the Harbo Sour Stringers. Mmm, yum. Watermelon Sour Patch Kids. Mmm, and then some nerd gummy clusters okay it was a perfect fit hey guys my new camera died so if there's a quality change i'm sorry but i'm charging the battery but here's my candy salad it's so good i'm gonna put it away or else i'm gonna keep munching on it but it's just gonna go right up here for now if you wanted to you could get a more decorative container kind of like my espresso pod container and have it out but that would be too dangerous for me so also side note if you guys don't use scent beads you need to use scent beads it just makes everything smell so good 
makes your clothes fresher longer and then also since our laundry room is in like our bathroom now i love that because it just smells super fresh in the bathroom too In true Emma fashion, I forgot to end today's video, so I just wanted to say thank you again to Ana Luisa for working with me in today's vlog. Be sure to check out the link in my description box to shop Ana Luisa's pieces. They make a perfect gift for yourself, your mom, or anyone else in your life. Thank you again, Ana Luisa, for working with me in today's video, and I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog.